Baseless Claims, our casual conversational comedy podcast. My name is Tay. My name is Tori Thompson. My name is Tyler, the professional prankster of the show, some might call me. Yeah, are we talking uh, professional, like the really good ones, or are you starting food fights and giving people wedgies and shit? Also, what is the uh, what is the career pay of a professional prankster nowadays? That's good. If you can convince really stupid kids to give you money by your YouTube ads where you say, if you unlock these secrets to knowing how to attract women, this <laughs> secret in this link, I'll give you this secret, but you have to click the link to get this secret. You can make like six figures. Yeah, I was thinking about running some of those for the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just so oh. you know, Tori, I, I did get served one of those ads today uh, on Skyrim. It did serve a, uh, like a hookup artist ad. V- yeah, very cool. Very cool. I love that I don't get to choose any of the ads that go on our stuff because <laughs> I've watched a video before and there was a Trump ad. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And you know us. So I, I had a couple really good pranks lined up that I'm thinking would put me ahead of the game. I could start my own YouTube channel and it'd be Tyler's very good prank show. Yeah, what's on your uh, what's on your prank docket there? So for my first one, it was going to be a really funny thumbnail of like the skeleton emoji. Uh, and what I was going to do is I was going to fill your inhaler with vape juice. Oh, that's uh, good. That's good. So That's when you go good. to hit your inhaler, you're actually just hitting vape and you die. That's a good. Now, that is a good prank right there. You got the full like setup and payoff. If you're just trying to kill someone via inhaler, though, why don't I just put like, I don't know, cyanide in the inhaler? That'd be a quicker way to do it. Yeah, no. I remember back in the 80s, I pranked someone with a knife. So I had a, I had a really good one lined up for Tori, which was the second episode, and it was going to have like the crying face emoji on it because mm-hmm. I'm going to sneak into his house and fill his contact case with salt water. Oh, oh that, that would, would be, dude, that would fuck my eyes up. That'd be so funny because like as soon as I stopped screaming in, in the absolute searing pain and, you know, going to the doctor and everything to like fix my eyes and see if it's, if you've done irreparable damage or not. And if yeah. I can still see, I would have laughed so hard. I think like, it would have been a real knee slapper. Everyone would have had a good time. I think with that one. Yeah, dude. And imagine like the hidden camera footage that Tyler would definitely have of you in your bathroom. That'd be great. Well, that was a mutual thing. I let Tyler put the camera in there because oh, okay. I'll be honest with you. I kind of like it. Oh, it's one of those cameras where you can do I have one on my porch. You can send voice through it. So I sometimes I'll get the motion detection when Tori goes in the bathroom. And what he always wants is a reminder, like because a lot of times when he's done taking a big old shit, he just stands up, pulls his pants up and walks out. So he yep, wants me yep. to be, uh, send the voice through. No, Tori. Remember what we talked about? We practiced this and then he'll begrudgingly do the wiping. Mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm, just mm-hmm. once though i give it i give it a once and done because i'm a man who's got a lot of things on his plate i don't got time to sit there and pick every little speckle of shit out of my crack yeah i'm glad you started Only doing this betas. tyler because before this was happening uh i did sit in on skyrim episode 69 and it just smelled so fucking bad on it was set. bad and it i was, was wondering I, put, I was wondering I put, what that was look i put cologne on Okay, yeah, that yeah, should but then, like that should nix it, you know. It should be good yeah, to go. But you, then you don't sound, you don't smell like a human with cologne. You smell like a, a pile of shit that had axe sprayed on it, which doesn't make it any better. It's the equivalent of putting like a thin layer of Febreze on top of your garbage can. It doesn't do. If anything, it makes it worse. Like yes. it brings it up, makes it more noticeable. Yeah, you're you're throwing aerosol on top of it, which just aerates the particles that already exist. Look, Tyler, when I agreed to this camera thing, I thought it would be like a kind of like I was having a friend there with me, you know, like oh, I'm getting lonely while brushing my teeth, but I know Tyler's there, he's watching me. I didn't think it was going to be this whole like, no, Tori, we have to change the way you live your life and we have to judge your actions. I make okay, him that's hold up the the paper towel in front of the camera now, or I'm sorry, the toilet paper. Wow, that'd, that'd suck if he had to wipe his ass with paper towels. Ouch. <laughs> Make him hold it up to the camera to be like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Is it clean? I want you to wipe till it's clean or I see red streaks. You don't stop wiping until I see one of those. <laughs> oh, That's a lot. Well, what would you rather have? 
Would you I rather mean, have the shit smell and like a thin veil of cologne? <laughs> I just feel like by telling me that I need to wipe my ass, you are taking away my liberties. Oh, uh, yep. There's that argument. Too. We don't live in communist China, Tyler. The very, very good argument of I don't want to. And if you tell me not that, I think it's communism. That's a very yeah. good argument nowadays. You, you tell me where in in God's constitution, which is the U.S. Constitution, where it says must wipe ass. You don't gotta. <laughs> it's just a lot. I, it's a lot of sheep out there doing it. I bet the people in the Bible times were very stinky. Oh, yeah. They were all nasty freaks. They had toilet paper. They just didn't want to. They actually all had bidets. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. But it was the... considered sinful because sometimes the water gets right up in there. Yeah. I mean, honestly, you got to get yourself a bidet. Like we've said it time and time again, you got to get yourself a bidet. Mm-hmm. I'm going to blow I... your fucking minds apart. I've never used a bidet. Not once in my life. I've never used a bidet, per per se, but I do afterwards. um, You mentioned I don't wipe, and Tyler, we don't have cameras elsewhere throughout my house, so you don't see this part. That you know. But I do do walk into the kitchen, and I do grab my little little nozzle in the kitchen sink that, like, you know, I can spray water with, and I just sort of bend over and give it a once-over. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm not that nasty, you know? Yeah, and then I use And then I use paper towels to clean it, dry it. That goes to one of my other pranks where I did put cameras all over the rest (laughs) of your house and most importantly, the bedroom. So I just kind of have it zoomed in on your girlfriend while she sleeps and I send Mm -hmm. her nice letters with that footage. That's going to be my third (laughs) prank. That's that's a yeah. The those are good. pranks. we can reveal we can reveal the location of one camera for you, Tori. It's on the other side of the mirror on your ceiling in the bedroom. Whoa, that's a smart placement for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna send her a bunch of cool love letters, and maybe you're just, some. You're gonna you're gonna open up this deep web site where you've like you've pranked all of your friends with cameras, and then you've just got like Tyler's little like nasty gallery, and that's where all of his <laughs> pranks live. And it's like, oh yeah, this is this is my friend's girlfriend sleeping, and she gets up in the middle of the night. She goes right here. She goes to the bathroom. I also have a camera in there. You can see that happen. Tyler's wonderfully perverted emporium. Yeah. It's it's yeah, it's my big it's my big prank emporium. Yeah, you're a, you're a fucking nasty boy. And uh, Tay, you did bring up cyanide before. The reason I wasn't just going to do cyanide was because the cyanide is for Tori's cat. I'm going to replace the catnip with no. cyanide. No. Okay, that's which fucked one, up. No, wh- absolutely not. Which one, not. Tyler? Old cat or fat cat? Fat cat. You son of a bitch. You've always had a grudge against him. <laughs> what do you mean? It's not a grudge, it's a prank. Oh. Well, yeah, Tyler, well, I'm going to prank you, and you're going to come home someday, and you're going to find your fucking dog hanging from the rafters. Jesus Christ, Swinging guys. back and forth. That's going to be a good prank. That's not really a prank, though. You didn't do a, you didn't pull a prank. I've been pranking. Like, I swapped out some stuff. Like, that's a prank. You didn't. Oh, I, I would put down, um, uh, like, a plush dog that looks somewhat similar. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then I got you. There. Now that's now I get it. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh I've been I've been looking at a career change. So prankster or I mean we all have. I'm maybe maybe a YouTube pickup artist, honestly. That that would be really like cool of you to do. And I think you'd get a yeah. lot of respect from a lot of people. I think you know women better than they do. And and you should you tell can, them about it. Yeah, you can definitely give some insight into that space on YouTube because that's a that's an untapped market, baby. No, yes. no, no, no. If you're gonna be picking up women, I gotta know what's the fedora collection looking like these days. Oh no, it's not fedoras. It's baseball caps. Okay, flat like brim. new era, like the flat bill. New era. Yeah. Yeah. You're on. like I'm a I'm a fan of the Rays. I like the Rays. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I'm gonna have that and like a a very thin goatee or a soul patch. You're just describing someone who's fucking hot right now, Tyler. I don't know if you're trying to seduce us via this Look, webcam. I'm, I, but... I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna give you both this opportunity to help me make this video. But I'm yeah. gonna make the video where I'm sitting, just like sitting down in front of somewhere, and I'm just describing. Ninety percent of women are stupid. They don't <laughs> know what they want. I know the secret to women. Women just don't get it. There's one easy thing you can say to pick up girls. 
Do you want to be masturbating on Pornhub the rest of your life? Or do you want to be bagging hot chicks? Hot, dumb, stupid idiot chicks. I don't like the term bagging chicks. That sounds serial killery. Yeah, it sure does. But it also sounds eerily similar to one of those that I have actually seen, like one of the ads for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You just except mine just goes a little bit further. And it's just not even that much further, though. Like, not it's even pretty much really. like, look, I think I'm hot and I've got a lot of confidence for no reason. So I'm going to go neg some women quick. And also women are stupid. Women just don't get that I'm pulling tricks on them because women are so easy and you can unlock the secret because it's so easy and women are so stupid. Seriously, so dumb, dumb as rocks. How did women get this stupid? Only I know the secret and can tell you. It is so uncomfortable to watch those people because it's so like they just stop random women that they see and they have a fucking camera crew on them. And they're just like, hey, I think your shoes are really nice. It's like, I saw that trick on fucking Drake and Josh. Yeah. So like, that's not even that fuck? good. And also, like, half the time with those pickup channels, the women are literally paid models. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. just plants. Obviously. Oh, wait. Not even half the time. All of the time. Yeah. It doesn't make it less uncomfortable, shockingly, though. Like, you'd think, like, oh, at least it's a little bit rehearsed, so I'm not going to have a crippling anxiety while watching this. But <laughs> alas, I do I do scratch at my skin very, very bad well, while I watch Well, it's because them. they opt for the really cheap ones on Craigslist. They don't go for the, like, actual, like, really good drama students. They're like, well, let's just get the cheapest ones. Yeah. And let me tell you, not good actors, the cheap ones. Nope, not you gotta close. pay for that. I would just at least hope that the host was better at the job, but just it's it's a real rough go. No, of because they're all trying to fulfill some weird egotistical like fantasy that they have by hiring women and pretending. I bet at the end of the day, they're like, I mean, yeah, I get I paid her, but I probably could have done that without it anyway. Like, I probably didn't even need to pay her. Yeah, I could see the acting fade away and like it became really real once I got into it. <clears throat> Yeah, exactly. Like, they delude themselves. And I'm going to delude you, too. And I'm going to delude women out there. Because, again, women, so stupid, can't even comprehend how dumb they are. Ugh! But you're going to want my secrets, which I'll give to you for $20 a month. You're going to go on five dates with me, and you'll understand the secret to picking up hot chicks, dimes, each and every one of them. Dimes, but stupid. <laughs> Seriously. So goddamn stupid. You're going to get a front row seat to the smoke show. <laughs> At the end of the five dates, he's just like, huh, this is all a prank. I got you, bitch. I'm gay. You're my boyfriend now. Whoa. <laughs> hey, now. I want to see that show where it's like <laughs> they actually get these people to fall in love just to flip it on them and be like, not really my type. Look at my husband. He's hot as fuck. <laughs> I bet you feel so stupid right now. That's because women are scientifically dumber than men. You see, women think with emotions, and men are just more logical. We just understand. I... And now, I'm going to chase you into an alley and kill you. Are you scared? You should be. You're on scare tactics. And then Tracy Morgan comes just sprinting out from behind there. And he's foaming at the mouth. We just gave Tracy Morgan rabies. <laughs> <laughs> and he is looking to bite you. No, the show I do really want to see, though, is like what happens when that guy's done filming his show? Like the real people who think that they just know all the secrets to like women's psychology and they can get anyone they want. What happens when they go home and they have like an ego orgasm, right? Like that's that's really what they're getting off on is thinking they're the hottest shit. And just like because I have a camera that that proves it. Dorian. These women want me. Let me give you a sneak peek into what it looks like when the egotistical pickup artist man goes home. <clears throat> Someone call out action. Action. Women are dumb. And scene. Cut, wow. everybody. That's hey. a wrap. Wow. What Thank a, you. Thank you, everyone. Hey, wow. Tyler, what a That's why I'm more expensive on wow. Craigslist. Check under your seat. There's an Oscar there for you, pal. <laughs> <laughs>
Whoa! <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not imagining the Oscars. <laughs> They're like, the nominees are so-and-so, so-and-so, and so-and-so. All three of you look under your seats. <laughs> That's where they keep the Oscars. There's no, like, walk up to the stage. That's literally what the Emmys just did because really? there was no central location. <laughs> so they sent a truck to everyone's house and when it was time for their award, these dudes in hazmat suits stood outside of their house holding an Emmy. Oh, and if that's... they won, they would go in and bring it to them. If they lost, they just waved goodbye and left. What the fuck? Oh, really? my God. That's so much worse than just not going up there. Because at least yeah. there's like a mutual respect. But that one's just like, psych, bye, fuckers. I know you dedicated seven years to this show. I saw that video or I saw a clip of that happening, right? Of a, of a guy in a black hazmat suit walking up to somebody's, like, full front glass window porch with the Emmy and then walking away, right? I, on God, thought it was a meme of some actor going to some quote-unquote rival actor's house and doing that. I didn't think that was the actual thing. No, no. And then the other thing they did for late night variety show or whatever variety show, they sent everyone a box. And if they won like a fucking Emmy would come out of the box in a robot arm. And if they lost, it just deflated. Like there's just nothing. It's just empty. What that's the just, fuck? that's just so, Hey, now Tyler, that's a fucking prank. Yeah. That's some dystopian nightmare. You think shit. You're a professional prankster. No, 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 no. John Emmy is just like, fuck everyone here. Okay. Like I'm going to go buck wild. I wanted to make this show more entertaining for some time now. And finally people are giving me the reins. <laughs> Yeah, but here's the thing is that no one there's no movies that came out this year. So I could genuinely win an Oscar for this Skype performance. If I if I like submitted it, they'd be like, fuck it. We're looking for anything. Sure. Yeah, it's you versus Scoob, Tyler. And Scoob's going to fucking clean. Oh, up. yeah, dude. Scoob is going to fucking take everything. I never even saw that movie, but I know it's better than what you just did not too long ago. There's no way. There's seriously and, and it, no It's way. not because you, you did a fantastic job. This is nothing. This is not taking away. Yeah, but like, yeah. I saw the trailer for Scoob and just the trailer. I felt like I had gone on such an emotional journey that I was scared as to what would happen if I actually saw the I'm movie. I'm just like, like Leo. I get robbed year after year <laughs> after year. Yeah. I know you've really been gunning for this, but I'm sorry. When is is there like an award show like there's obviously the Emmys and the Oscars and stuff. Do they have those for, say, the adult industry? Yes, they do, actually. Um, I feel I like you're just asking this to bait us because everyone knows about that. Everyone knows this is oh, real. Like, I genuinely do not. Oh, yeah, no, I genu oh, I don't know because I just never consume that kind Tyler, of content. Tyler, I'm consuming porn at least nine hours a day. I'm consuming porn right now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the Adult uh, Video Music Awards. Uh, did I say music the awards? The Video Music Awards? <laughs> Holy shit. It's where you fucking click on one of those videos and someone actually just copied a video to put their like SoundCloud track over it. So it's like, hey, guys, listen, I know there's like I know you wanted to hear the sounds, but check out this dope track. Ooh, sorry. The correct joke was the musical sound of the cheeks slapping together. That. I realized in editing that was the joke I should have gone for. Ah, uh, damn, missed that one. Ah, uh, well, you can't change the past. You live and you learn. Anyway, back to the episode. Yo, it's been a long day. Okay, I didn't I didn't want to like stray away from your topic because it's very good, but I saw something that absolutely broke my fucking brain apart today. 2020's been a wild year, right? We've got civil unrest, we've got coronavirus, uh, apparently there's signs of life on fucking Venus. That's fucking wild. But the I one thing, nail. the one thing that broke me apart today, I went into a gas station to buy coffee. And as I was walking past the soft drinks, I saw a particularly different looking Mountain Dew bottle. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. What's that? I spun that bottle around Mountain Dew mystery. And it's a fucking mystery flavor. How the shit did Mountain Dew get a mystery flavor beverage past the FDA and onto store shelves? Shouldn't you know what you're consuming? <laughs> the only other products I can think of that have a quote unquote mystery flavor are Airheads and Dum Dum Suckers. <laughs> like, look, yeah, mystery well, is the flavor, baby. 
Oh. It is it is the pure essence of what it is to wonder. Do you want to know what the flavor actually is? I was just about to say, uh, I think it'd be really fun to like project a flavor onto this Mountain Dew. What flavor do you want the Mountain Dew to be? Doritos. Mountain Dew. Like I want <laughs> I want someone who's never had Mountain Dew before. I want like a child who has never sipped a Mountain Dew to design the flavor for the mystery Mountain Dew of what they think just standard Mountain Dew is. <laughs> now that <laughs> right good. there, that's another show you could start is like, we brought three, three third graders who aren't allowed to drink sugary beverages into a <laughs> yeah, lab. Because one's a Mormon, one's a, <laughs> one's a Catholic, and one's an Amish kid. They have no idea what this shit is. The Amish kid barely speaks English. <laughs> He knows five words, farm, plow, father, mother, God, that's it. <laughs> and they just have to sit and discuss like, and, and you know how kids talk where they just are, it's completely incoherent. They go off on tangents and don't even realize they're doing it. They have to have like psychologists, scientists, manufacturers. They're all sitting there recording like what they're saying and they have to try and create a flavor based off these three children describing what they imagine Mountain Dew might taste like. They don't That's get to smell it. They don't get to, They have to do it in th in three rounds, though, because it's the initial discussion and then feedback and then final feedback. What do they get for uh, reference material if they can't smell it, drink it? They, the they, logo. They're basing it off of the logo. Should we base it off and of the, the commercials? Color? And, the, and commercials. the commercials. I was going to say the commercials and the well. colors. They get to see one commercial from the 90s, 90s, one from the 2000s, one from the 2010s. 2010s. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, they get to see the color, but I want Mountain Dew designed by a child who's never had Mountain Dew because then I think it'd be way fucking better. But honestly, what flavor is Mountain Dew? I... I would say lemon lime, but that's it's but that's not Sprite. It's like a citrusy sh thing. like lemon lime is is Sprite. Mountain Dew is like it's, it's not even citrus. It's just Mountain Dew. It's Battery just acid. sugar. Yeah. Yeah. So I want a child to design Mountain Dew, like looking at that, like fucking glowing nuclear green. <laughs> I want them to tell me like they're probably like, oh, OK, so it's it's like it tastes like a volcano and and the scientist is like, fuck, I'm going to lose my job. Like, <laughs> there's no way I'm going to be able to pull this off. No, it's 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 like, oh, my God, I was nominated for a Nobel Prize three years ago. How did I end up here? And then when they're getting to the testing phase where they actually test the flavor, Bobby Mountain Dew, owner of Mountain Dew, walks up, takes a drink of it, spits it out and goes, what the fuck is this? I'm sorry, sir. We did everything we could. It's better Mountain Dew, designed by kids. <laughs> by the end of it, that scientist is only taste testing as a chaser. It's like shot of vodka, shot of the Mountain Dew. Because he's just like, he's like, I was so close to like being one of the most respected in my field. And here I am talking to these stupid children trying to describe this volcano to me. Hey, Tori, what do you what do you want mystery Mountain Dew flavor to be? Oh, Doritos. I think they I did that before. Oh, so you're saying they're just fucks? Fuck! Of course they did. Well, no, 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 I, no, no. I don't no. Know it was, a, true, it was a very, of course they would. No, no, it was a very limited run event. Uh, I think they were doing it just as like a promotional thing, and it didn't go over very well. So they had vats and vats of this stuff left over, and they're like, "Fuck! How are we gonna get rid of this garbage?" And they found a way. Did they give it to gamers? No, they just made it into the mystery flavor. Oh yeah, okay. No. That, I was gonna say like I'm I'm so upset by the thought of this. That they actually did that, that I'm like, fucking, how was Mountain Dew legal anymore? How were they not arrested immediately <laughs> upon the person who pitched Dorito flavor Mountain Dew? I get yeah. it, cut out the middleman and inject that shit right into <laughs> Call of Duty players, but also go to jail. Yeah, Bobby Mountain Dew, CEO of Mountain Dew, uh, was in a pitch meeting and uh, someone was like, all right, I've got a big pitch for you, Bobby Mountain Dew. And he's like, actually, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick first. Just pitch it to everyone else uh, and green light it if it's good or whatever. I'm going to go to the bathroom. And when he came back from the bathroom, they had already finished the meeting and it was already too late. Oh, so Bobby Mountain Dew shits like I do. Mm -hmm. Takes a while. Mm -hmm. And it's painful. 
A Very little painful. bit acidic because all he consumes is Mountain Dew. But let's be real. Mountain Dew Pitch Black is the best Mountain Dew. Oh, fuck off. No, it's Volpage. the best Mountain Dew. No, no great Volpage Mountain is Dew is garbage. It's White easy out mode. all the way. It's easy mode. Pitch Black is the best Mountain Dew. No, but you're Mystery high. Mountain Dew, they should just be like, fuck it. It's every Mountain Dew put into one Mountain <laughs> Dew. <laughs> it's brown Mountain Dew. When are they going to do that? Because apparently they're just wild over there and they don't yeah. give shit. Do you want to know what the actual answer is to the real Mountain Dew mystery hey, flavor? Is it like strawberry? No, it's worse than you think it is. What's I mean, the worst flavor you can imagine? I would like to explain my position as to what I want the mystery Mountain Dew flavor to be. But I, mean, I thought you wanted Volcano. I thought we just kind of all agreed we liked Volcano. And I mean, <laughs> we did, but you had your answer. Tori had his answer, and we just moved past me. And I'm the one who initially brought up the question, and I'm just feeling a little... Uh, little uh slated here well look you rolled out your own red carpet now go oh no now i'm anxious um um what if we made the flavor of anti-racism because all of the hick rednecks that are presumably racist will drink it and become not racist anymore i don't know if that's a flavor so much as an abstract concept well i mean if I don't know if, if DQ it's a f- can say happy tastes good, then Mountain Dew can be tasting of anti-racism. I mean, there's a point there. Apparently, you can just <laughs> do anything. <laughs> do anything. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. So maybe they would just have... Well, no. Tori, here's the thing. I think they can develop an anti-racist flavor because they already made a racist flavor, and it's Mountain Dew Game Fuel. Oh, yep. Yep. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I hate to say it, but you got a point there. Yeah, they made the racist flavor. Now they can make... It's the least they could do, honestly. See, they tried to they tried to corner a different market with Game Fuel at first, and it was initially called... Uh, <laughs> hate speech? Yeah, <laughs> racist fuel. But they were like, nah, that's too on the nose. What other demographic is so racist that it's synonymous? I got yeah. it. Gamer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unfortunate, but if you are a gamer, mm-hmm. you Tyler, are what the, racist. What is the actual flavor of Mystery Mountain Dew so I don't have to buy one myself? Yeah, you shouldn't buy it. I want you to think of what the worst flavor is and then think of if that's the Mountain Dew. So just like the worst flavor of Mountain Dew you can imagine, that's what it is. Olives. Is it like a fruit? I'm not going to tell you anything. It's Mystery. Okay, my more realistic answer is watermelon. I'm going to say grapefruit. I don't think that works well in Mountain Dew. Well, that's whiteout. Whiteout is like the the grapefruity-ish citrusy flavor. Son of a bitch, those motherfuckers have done everything. Tyler, what is mystery flavor? Candy corn. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I told you to think of the worst thing. How do you even know how filthy they got there? They got they get so nasty. Aren't candy corns just granulated sugar anyway? Candy corn is such a shitty candy. Those motherfuckers like the whoever invented candy corn found a way to make sugar taste bad, which is (laughs) buck wild. It's very hard to do. And second of all, That's just what they, like, we've all been asking, what do they do with all of the leftover candy corn? Just found our answer. They just (laughs) fucking drip that shit. They they melt it down and carbonate it. (laughs) I doubt they even melt it. They probably just take, like, whatever base Mountain Dew before flavor is added, and then they just drop a handful of (laughs) candy corn, and they just let them dissolve. Into an entire vat. Yeah, and it just disintegrates, because Mountain Dew is literally acid, but it's acid that i love putting in my fucking body yep, i can i can agree to that uh battery acid flavor mountain dew is a very good thing to put in my body and now i'm gonna go get drunk off mountain dew because red lobster has dew ritas whoa no. margaritas no okay, okay that are okay. mountain dew that sounds like a gut rot nightmare right there but like does i'm down does it have doritos around the rim Holy shit. Is it rimmed in Dorito dust? No, it does have like the salt rim standard. Boo. Oh, that would, you know, they missed an opportunity to really Boo. class up this cocktail. They, they it's just... at Red Lobster. Do you think people are going to Red Lobster for fucking Doritos? 
They could yes. for for a garnish. They could like leave a, a flame and hot funyun float on the top of it. <laughs> I hate that. No, just put the Dorito in it as as the like skewer. Like you know how you would like put like a lime, oh, you would skewer it on yeah. the glass. Just do that with a Dorito. Or yeah, yeah. would it be better to take a lime and run a taki through it and then put that in there? Hey, that'd be pretty good. I mean, it wouldn't be good, but it's a good idea. <laughs> Do they have a Mountain Dew game fuel? Arita. <laughs> no, it's just the one. It's just the one flavor of Dew Rita. No, because that would be a, a an oxymoron. Uh, because you can't associate gamers with anything of a specific race because gamers are racist. What? I don't understand what race you're referring to. It's it's a margarita. It's a Mexican drink. Oh, well, that's pretty racist of you to assume. I, I'm sorry. Pretty racist, but let's move past Tay's blatant racism right there. <laughs> okay. Let's just let's try and cross the bridge to get over Tay's incredible racism that she just displayed for an entire <laughs> listening audience. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm sorry if if you are feeling the way I'm feeling right now, um, you could reach out and we will have uh, Tay's paycheck taken out of this one and given to you for therapy. What paycheck? And anything, any help you might need. The, the, oh, the pay- shit. Sorry, nothing. Nothing. The, mm-hmm. No, I had my suspicions. No, I had my suspicions. You know, it has been over like four years since I've seen a fucking dime from this show. Yeah, same. We just do it for the I've, love of the I've, game. I've never gotten... Money Tyler, ever. you just bought a yacht. You did just buy a pretty fucking sick boat, dude. Where did that money call, come from? I wouldn't call it a yacht. I'd call it a boat. Okay, sure. It's like whatever. a nice a speed boat. boat, I'd say. A boat. Fine. Where did you get that money for that boat? Did you use um, the shapeless money? No, there's no such thing as shapeless money. Did you use the baseless claims money? There's no there's no such thing as 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 any money that we get from I got that uh Will you release your tax returns to prove it? No. Blood, sweat, and tears. I, I worked hard for Tyler's it. Tyler's a very good well, businessman. Well, you understand how that looks very fishy if you don't release your tax reform. Reforms He's a to good me, right? businessman. Wouldn't that be crazy if, if Mountain Dew made a fish flavor? Uh, gross. <laughs> gross. Mountain Dew salmon. Y- yeah. Mountain Dew Swedish fish. Oh, I down. Okay, I okay. Would, Actually, though, that yeah, I, know, I, I actually down was that. so down for that. <laughs> Oh, that actually reminds me. Um, you guys know G Fuel, right? Yeah. Uh, while we're on the topic of fucking buck wild flavors, have you checked out the flavors of G Fuel lately? I don't need help to I- I improve my gaming. Uh, sure, but it's still fucking buck wild. Uh, when you load the G Fuel page, the first thing you are greeted by is a pop up ad for their new Sonic Edition Peach Ring flavored G Fuel. Oh, that sounds oh. good as fuck. But oh, that's, Tyler's Tyler does have a real sweet tooth when it comes to peach rings. That's not the uh, okay. I'm just gonna pull up this fucking and website. And it's Sonic gonna, branded. Is it? Yeah. Blue? Does it have Sonic on it? Uh, yes, it has Sonic on Where it. Where do I buy 250 fucking canisters of it? Uh, Gfuel.com. Uh, no, let's see. Tyler, what else do we can't. have here? I'm what doing it. Be, gotta go fast to the bathroom I'm, to shit I'm my brain. I'm doing out. it literally right now, and you can't stop me. Oh, God. All right, let's look at some of these other new flavors. Or, so, what did you let's say? Look, Gfuel.com? Yes, Gfuel.com. Um, let's actually go for the. Uh, Why is it in a blender bottle? Is it like protein? It's like it's like a it's like a powder. It's a gamer supplement. That's not a joke. Can we rebrand this podcast? Like, I'm sick of being funny. I'm sick of trying to make people laugh day in <laughs> day out. Can we just completely switch to being a gamer fuel review podcast? Oh fuck yeah! I'm actually all for that. Oh my god, you can build your own gamer fuel. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! You can build you can it just literally like a just world. like. You can make it a surprise or like pick flavor one, pick flavor two. They have PewDiePie flavor. I accidentally just clicked PewDiePie. What that's flavor racist, is that? Tyler, that's, that's the racist just racism. flavor we were talk- let's, yeah, that, let's, we uh, talked about. That. Let's go over some of these uh, flavors that I just pulled up. Uh, I went to their tie-ins and like collaborations page. Uh, the one that actually looks super fucking good is Spicy Demonade from Doom. And it is lemonade with cayenne pepper. No, what? That I don't want that. Very I, don't, I don't know if I want that much sweetness and spice. 
combined oh, like that. There actually is a raging gummy fish version, which is why I thought about this thing the whole time, because there is a Swedish fish version of G Fuel. The one that fucking blows my mind apart is the moon pie flavor G Fuel. Now explain to me how they put that in a non-thick liquid. No idea, but one of the top comments is, this is good with milk. Oh, that sounds... Oh, God. Oh, God. I My stomach is fucking turning just thinking about <laughs> drinking a moon pie 31.99 for 12 pack of sonic's peach rings uh, wow i'm so glad tyler's fucking back to the podcast after like completing a full <laughs> online well, sorry, purchase dude i had to enter my fucking <laughs> card information uh here is resident <laughs> e- resident evil 3 special edition nemesis tea flavor don't know okay, what that means so uh add to cart Card number four, three, five. Is there, is there one that's going to make me just like super good at Skyrim? Is there like a Todd Berry flavor? A Todd Berry flavor. Uh, let me look here. Hey, what does you guys, you guys talk about what each flavor makes you do. And I'm going to check. I'm going to get this checkout done. Tyler, mm-hmm. I don't know if you want to do this. Like, just speaking to you as a friend right now, we can sort of step aside into another room. It's just you and me here now. Look, I know that there's been some uh, irritation in the bowels in your in your history, and I'm not sure if game fuel is exactly what you want to be putting in your body. I know you like to treat your body like a temple. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Tyler's just shared his screen as he completes. I'm his trying. I'm trying to see if Honey can find me any coupons. Yeah, yeah. Honey, oh, Honey, the free code. browser extension that scans for uh, 90 million coupon codes on your favorite websites. Yeah, yeah, that I honey. Mean, it can save you money for free. Okay. okay. <laughs> I like saving money. <laughs> so, Tyler, tell me again how you got that boat. Uh, that's to uh, uh, Honey. It's it's on your browser. It's a free browser plugin. Uh, you just go to Honey.com. You can download it. Um, if you use code SWORDWATCH, it'll give us money. Um so yeah, go to honey.com, use code swordwatch, get honey.com, use code okay. s- code swordwatch, help out the show. Oh, okay. sweet, not bad. Oh, I you're saved. buying a fucking 12 pack of tall boys. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got 20% off. Wow. Well, great. It's still 25 fucking dollars. Uh, Tyler, before you finish that order, do you want to add some energy crystals? What? Mm-hmm. They're energy crystals that pop in your mouth while you eat them and give you energy. Did, now, are just, these? Is this just a caffeine? I don't even know what I'm buying. Is this just a caffeine drink? What uh, am I let, buying? Let me let me check for you since you're on the on the the good old shopping cart. Well, I go think you're quick buying because a, a, a nice twelve pack of liquefied hedgehog. <laughs> I'm gonna go quick because I'm literally I'm literally about to hit pay now. Wow. I can see Tyler's full credit card information. Yeah, damn. <laughs> you can. I can see every number, expiration, security. You're I got it all. Let me just. Yeah, we've uh, got your home address as well. <laughs> Way to go, bud. All right, let's got see. Got that screenshotted. Uh, <laughs> Tori, you a... already have like so much of my streaming services. I'm I'm gonna buy something super weird for tyler to find on his fucking app when he's looking later it's gonna be like i don't remember subbing to 12 only fans but okay uh, i guess tyler, i was a filthy boy last night tyler i did pull up the product details for the zero sugar sonic the hedgehog g fuel peach rings flavored would you like to hear it yeah <clears throat> You've got to go fast, and we mean real fast. You're gonna Fuck. need, all, <laughs> you're gonna need Fuck all me. the rings to defeat the doctor, the evil Doctor Eggman, and save the world from imminent doom. But not just any rings. G Fuel Punch, <laughs> G Fuel is it, Peach Rings, is inspired by our favorite speedy blue hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. Stay your limited stop. edition high performance sixteen focus peach infused Sonic the Hedgehog G Fuel ready to drink can today and help us save the world. Parentheses. Tay, if Tay you I'm can gonna catch shit it, my is. fucking pants if you don't stop. <laughs> I, my brain can't handle what's happening right now. Tay, look at me in the eyes right now. Tay, I... look me in the eyes. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. 
He just clicked pay now. Order being processed. <laughs> All right, Tyler, let's actually go over what you just bought. You bought 12 cans of 16 ounces of carbonated peach ring drink with 300 milligrams of caffeine in every single bottle or can. Zero sugar, zero calories, and an S7 complex. How would I rate my shopping experience? I'd give it five stars, honestly. <laughs> Tyler, I am I'm pretty into like crafty beers and that can get pretty expensive to buy. I have never spent that much money on that <laughs> amount of beers. I would have just bought a four pack, you fucking lunatic. You're going to hate you're going to be drinking this hedgehog goop and you're going <laughs> to fucking hate it and you're going to wonder why you put your body through this traumatic experience. Well, hey, I'm going to get I will, hey. I will, I'm going to give you both one. I was going to say we should do that when you get these, we should do that live on air. Yeah, I can't wait for my teeth to fall out, but I'm going to be really good at Fortnite. <laughs> Sonic. Got to oh, go yeah, you're, fast. Uh, you're, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Tyler's you hear filling about out us? the Gotta survey. Go fast. <laughs> so Tyler is filling out the survey for after the order. How would you rate your overall shopping experience? Five stars. Please type a quick message about your shopping experience so far. Tyler said, "Sonic." How did you hear? <laughs> how did you hear about us? Gotta go fast. Why did you choose G Fuel? Doctor Robotnik fucked my wife. And the last question is, why did you choose the product, Tyler? To make fast like sonic so i can come that's a pretty exaggerated <laughs> come wow you oh so yeah so you can come big fast in 20 yeah, minutes, yeah. it's like we've canceled your order and called the fbi you fucking maniac thank you for your order <laughs> I sure hope Sonic himself is the one taking these orders. He's so proud of his special goop that he's drinking up. Tyler, if you if you have the audacity to try and bully us into paying for half of that each, I'm going to fucking slap you in the mouth. I sent you each a Venmo request. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay i <clears throat> from our last sponsorship th uh, or uh i have some money i can give to you so <clears throat> okay good uh hey Sorry, are you guys weird, interested weird in thing. in a in a new segment i call <clears throat> the baseless claims games yes oh yes yes so much show the baseless claims games. games are a series of three news headlines two of these are baseless claims that I completely made up. One of them is true. It is a real headline. You have to decipher in the baseless claims games, which is my baseless claims and which is reality. How many rounds of this game are we playing? We're playing four rounds today. Got it. Lovely. Round number one of the baseless claims games. Matthew McConaughey recounts story of coyote bludgeoning. <laughs> That's a good one. That's tough. <laughs> Tim Allen demands to say the N-word. <laughs> That's a basis claim. It absolutely has to I be. I don't know about that. Chris Jenner shows off ironclad bust in medieval bra. Oh my god, Tyler. I am going to say the real... I'm trying to guess the real one, right? The real yes. one. I think the real one is Tim Allen demanding to say the N-word. Oh, wait. You know what? I think I heard about that. Yeah, I got to go with that one, too. That is correct. I started the first one off <laughs> easy because, yes, Damn Tim me. Allen did demand That's to right. say I, the N-word. I think I remember the headline now, and that is a oh, very, God. very, very cool thing by Tim Allen. Tim Allen, like, they were like, you can't say the N-word. And he was like, oh? <laughs> Good one, T. Very original. Like Good thank joke. You, thank you. Wow. Amazing. Like, hey, Go fuck hey, yourself and play how, Sonic We're K. trying to shit talk during the games, motherfucker. Hey, how did, how close was Matthew McConaughey recount story of coyote bludgeoning? That's a very, very good one. Very convincing. Was, they were all convincing, but that one, it was, it had to be either the ironclad bust or it had to be. Tim mm -hmm, Allen. Mm -hmm, the only mm -hmm. reason I knew you wrote that is because you are madly in love with Matthew McConaughey, as we all are. He lives inside my 2020 Lincoln. We're going into round two. A deep dive into Kendall Jenner's golden bathtub sex bedroom. Jamie Oliver apologizes for squinting eyes when making shrimp fried rice. <laughs> Jamie, 
Gordon Ramsay, furious at cheese board. Oh, that's a good one, too, though. Oh, man. I feel like Gordon Ramsay, furious at cheese board is a tweet that Tyler saw that was a joke. I feel like that's so, like he would be so fucking pissed at a cheese board that's trying to put like a Gouda right next to some Havarti or something. Like, yeah, he's but not I also feel that. like I feel like the headline would be longer. You know what I mean? I don't know. BuzzFeed likes to keep it short. Oh, you're right. I'm going to say the Jamie Oliver one is real because I so badly want it to be real. I am also going to say the Jamie Oliver one because cancel culture is a bitch. <laughs> the real answer is a deep dive into Kendall Jenner's oh, golden bathtub no. sex bedroom. Oh, I should have. I should have fucking known. Mm hmm. I'm a goddamn fool. Tyler, you, Se I'll, I'll be honest, you wrote some You wrote some very, very sexy headlines. Yes, these are very good headlines. Round three. Who sent Box of Bees to Kathy Griffin? Is that question marked? No question mark. It's a headline. You can't put any like punctuations in it, I think. I feel like you can, but... <laughs> Like, no, like you know National Art Enquirer can, but... You know how, like, headlines never have, like, commas, or they always have, like, semicolons and shit? I feel like there's, like, a fucking weird rule to question marks. Hmm. Adam Sandler, almost eaten by Cheetah. <laughs> Robert Pattinson denies claim he does not wear underwear on set. That That's the real one. That's the real one for sure. The real one is no, Adam Sandler almost eaten by <laughs> Cheetah. <laughs> oh what? God, Tyler, it's I, I'm going to be honest with you. It's fucking killing me to not know the full story here. Yeah, you got it. You got to share. <laughs> hey, no, this is baseless claims. We say bullshit and we move on. Oh, okay? no, but we create but and then the destroy. whole part of your game is to figure out which one isn't bullshit. It's all bullshit at the end of the day. It's baseless claims. <laughs> Look, whatever's wrapped in the bow of the title Baseless Claims, can you really trust it? Final round of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. An inside look into Miyamoto's $40,000 teeth fillings. What? <laughs> He's got the money, eh? Brian Cranston says... Let's wait and see regarding flat earth failed research. <laughs> <laughs> Kardashian house infested with tarantulas and it's mating season. Oh, that oh last one is God. very good. Tyler, these are all fucking real. Oh, damn it. Oh, does, did he throw a curveball at us and they're all he, real? He had... Oh, shit. no, no. I, I honor the baseless claims games. OK, okay. okay. one okay. of them okay. is okay. real. OK, because okay. because hey, as soon as you said that, I was like, oh, my God, that motherfucker. <laughs> I I'll tell you what one. He has a Kardashian question in each one of these rounds. So one of them was bound to be true, but he already pulled that one. Now, I know there's mm. a lot of Kardashian news. I'm just running you through my my headspace here. I, I totally understand. So is this more of a co-op game now? <laughs> The I think it's I think me and you as friends are allowed to collaborate on this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, this isn't a competition, really. It's just oh. the baseless claims games. It it has a nice ring. We got to figure out uh, these these answers to get a high score every time you bring up the game. I'll give you right. a Sonic Peach Ring can if Fuck, you get. Yes, <laughs> let's go, baby. I think. I think Brian Cranston is just nice enough of a guy that he would be like. Hey, if that's what you want to believe, like let's just wait and see who really knows. You yeah, know? Like, like he just seems like such yeah, a, like such a, a non-confrontational good... kind of answer. Yeah, to yeah. not Tyler, stoke what was, the flames. What was that first one again? An inside look into Miyamoto's forty thousand dollar teeth fillings. That can't possibly be true. I mean, it's twenty twenty, my. I guy. mean, anything can be possible. I understand that, and he <laughs> certainly got the money he created Mario and Zelda. Obviously, he has a lot of money, but. Mm -hmm. I oh, just he, oh, he got that he's... Zelda money? Yeah, he got that Zelda money for sure, for sure. I'm going to say the Brian Cranston one. What do you think is the most real one today? <sighs> just to diversify so that at least one of us is right, I'm going to go with the Miyamoto 
tooth filling ones. Oh, I God. I know in my heart of hearts that this is the wrong move, but in order for us to get even even a semblance of a correct answer, I've got to diversify so we're not doing the same answer. Yep, yep, yep. The correct answer no! is is Kardashian house infested what? with tarantulas God and it's mating it. season. No. What do you mean? That's the real one. I could fucking tell by the smirk that it was going to be that you hit us with multiple Fuck. Kardashian ones to throw us off, you motherfucker. It's like when oh. the teacher makes the answers C, like four questions in a row. This has been the Baseless Claims Games. Where it was a, I just want to say it, it's been an honor. Yes. I am always, always honored to be part of the sh- ba- Baseless Claims Games. I think I think once this whole COVID quarantine thing is over, if it's ever over, I think we after this game, we need to stand up and do like the like Little League baseball. Like we all walk and give high fives to each other and mm-hmm. say good game. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Let me kneel. Now, in order to end the show. We do have to sacrifice correct- a child. On order, in order to end the show on a correct note, we do have to sacrifice a child, and there's only one way to sacrifice a child. Schwing! Yes. Welcome to Sword Watch, our dedicated deviant detail devoted to bringing you awareness to the dangers of life without swords. Now, this one, you're never gonna guess the state. You're never gonna guess the state. It's it, this one is out of fucking left field. Is it? Oh, <laughs> you can't just you can't just start guessing, Dave. <laughs> Is it Vermont? That is not how Sword Watch work. Is it is it Idaho? I Ooh, that was legitimately Idaho. my next guess. <laughs> the good old Potato Kingdom. Attack with medieval sword over mm. family's BLM sign. Wow, that's 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 a lot. That's a headline. Despite allegedly threatening a local family while wearing a ski mash and brandishing a medieval sword because of a vote BLM sign on their fence, a, posi- a Positello man will not face hate crime related charges. Cool. Hey, at least he was Excuse wearing me? a mask. Like, it wasn't like a medical mask, but at least he <laughs> no, was wearing a, like a ski mask. It was a ski mask, mask yeah, so it had a mouth hole, Tyler. Yeah, it's not really oh, doing shit. much. Yeah, you know, it has eye holes and a mouth hole. It's, it, it looks pretty comical and stupid. Hey, at least it covers the nose. I've seen so many people wear their mask under their nose. Yeah, they think that that worked, but it it, it, it don't work like it, that. It I'm don't sorry. be like that. In relation to the September 4th incident that occurred on the 700 block of West Halliday Street... Brian Huff of Positello has been charged with one felony count of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and two misdemeanors for carrying a concealed weapon without a license and resisting and obstructing officers, according to court records. The incident began to unfold around 2 p.m. when Huff climbed over a chain link fence on the 700 block, according to police reports. The fence Huff hopped over has a sign that reads, Vote BLM with a heart in the middle, created by pushing colored plastic cups through the openings of the chain link. The homeowner, his wife, and a family friend were in the backyard when they heard the chain link rattle, adding that the trio looked over to see a man they identified as tall and skinny, wearing a backwards baseball cap, a black ski mask, a yellow backpack, and a sword. Really just tucking that sword as like something he was wearing. uh, And no pants? Maybe not. Hey, maybe he was pantsless. Mm. Maybe maybe the sword was heavy, so it was pulling down his pants. So he just decided, oh, screw it. I'm just going right. to go belt, right. belt over whitey tighties. You right. I love how they say, oh, no, he was wearing a sword. Uh, can you? I can't say that I'm wearing a gun. I mean, you can. It'd just be wrong. Yeah. I'm going to guess it was cargo pants, though, at the end of the day. I mean, it's always yeah, cargo Yeah, I mean, pants. That's, that makes sense. That makes the most sense. After climbing the f- over the fence, Huff allegedly demanded to know what the purpose of the sign on the fence was before unsheathing a sword from his waistband and telling the group, it's going down today, and that today is the day of reckoning. 
Holy shit. He just didn't have Google and didn't know what BLM What does that for. mean? <laughs> yeah, he was so distraught because he's been seeing it a lot in the news. He's been seeing it a lot on social media. He's been seeing it around his own neighborhood, apparently. And he was like, I genuinely don't know what it means. I'm going to pull out a sword and stick up people until they tell me what BLM means. Because <laughs> nobody it, else will tell me. Does it, be, does it mean boys like mango? Because I certainly do. <laughs> he he said today is the day of reckoning as if he thought like because his name's Brian. I think it was just like he thought it was Brian loves men. And he's like, no, I <laughs> don't. Like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. He was so upset by it. No, I don't. I just haven't had a girlfriend because I'm shy. She just goes to her school. You don't know her. Tears. Brian loves men. Brian loves men. And then he pulls out his sword. And he's like, today is the day of re- <coughs> re- reckoning. Oh, what? Did your voice just crack there, Brian? No. <laughs> Positello police described the weapon as an Excalibur sword with a thick blade, a pommel, and a guard above the handle. Let's so finally, the choice. I was going to say. I would have guessed Katana, yeah, honestly. This, yeah. was, this was easy Katana bait. This I'm was glad. ripe with Katana. <laughs> I'm so glad we've broken the stigma. It's about time we get some medieval swords in here. <laughs> Police said both the homeowner and his wife said they were afraid for their lives during the encounter, encounter and were afraid to leave home until Huff was captured. Huff was located shortly afterward walking on South Bannock Highway and took into custody for aggravated assault. In addition, police say Huff had warrants out for his arrest. So and he a just McDonald's bag. He just committed a crime and then was like, what's someplace I can hide? Someplace inconspicuous. I know. I'll walk on the highway. They'll never find me there. There's he too many a cars. He ski mask on so no one could identify him, though. What a very cool and awesome, awesome guy. He's got good taste in swords, but other than that, this guy can kind of go fuck himself. The homeowner told his wife that Huff was armed with a knife and to go inside the house and call the police, to which Huff responded back saying, this is not a knife. This is a sword. (laughs) I'll be honest, though. Like, if I was going to, like fucking lose my mind and commit a sword crime i would want people to recognize it as such i don't want them being like oh he's got a pocket knife on me i want to be like oh my god he was wielding excalibur the legendary blade (laughs) um this is no knife this is a zweihander from the 13th era germany actually do you not see the pommel look at the pommel i i love i love that this supports that he thought it meant brian loves men because he thought (laughs) they were still making fun of him like oh god honey go inside call the police he has a knife God, no, it's not. It's a sword. It's a sword, okay? <laughs> Do you not realize oh. you're in danger right now? Oh, my God. You oh. guys don't take me I could, seriously. I could totally, like, hack you down with my sword. <laughs> oh. I could split thine in twain with a single bash of my sword. I've oh. used this sword to cut my leg hairs before. Oh, my God. You should see the fucking cartons of milk that i've sliced with this blade before <laughs> you I can check it out on my youtube channel <laughs> yeah i filmed it at 120 frames per second so it's slow-mo oh and he didn't have like proper lighting on it so it looks so fucking bad yeah, it, it looks, looks like, like grainy shit garbage and he's like yeah but it's sick because i cut a fucking watermelon in half with my big sword <laughs> it only took me two swings that's how good i was <laughs> the milk carton is full of like orange uh food coloring water (laughs) huff is due back in court on september 21st for a preliminary hearing during which prosecutors will attempt to prove there is enough evidence against him to send his case to trial and we're gonna keep up with this story i was gonna say that was yesterday yeah this is this episode is apparently part one because we got a lot of uh a lot of following up to do Mm -hmm. i want to know what that motherfucker said in court i want to keep eyes on this man because that's fucking hilarious that this (laughs) motherfucker was like it's not a knife it's a sword god yeah if he's willing to say that in the in the heat of the moment like he's gonna say some dumb shit in front of a judge yeah (laughs) 
So that has been Swordwatch, our dedicated deviant detail devoted to bringing awareness to the dangers of life without swords. And honestly, if you're out there, you have a Black Lives Matter sign in your house. You should also have a sword to back that up. So if someone like Brian comes in and is like, oh, I'm going to kill you with my sword. You can be like, well, I have a bigger sword that you can tell is a sword. So So, what are you going to do? Now, Tay, I know you have a, a big sword that you own, and I'd like you to grab that sword. I'd like you to unsheathe it. <laughs> that sounded like I was talking about. That's, that's a good one. Hey. Um, but I want you to grab that big sword. I want mm-hmm. you to unsheathe it, and I want you to slice us clean out of this episode. All right, hold on. I gotta gotta line up my gotta line up my swing here. Yeah. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Uh, you can find us all on Twitter. Uh, go ahead and find Shapeless Media also on Twitter. Uh, we post little snippets of the show that are easily shareable. And tweeting at us uh, will get a direct response usually. And it gives us more fuel for the show. Uh, gives us, you know, likes and favorites and retweets to help spread us around. That'd be really cool if And you to that. give us dopamine hits. We love <laughs> dopamine hits. Yes, those, those dopamine hits are what I live for in my life, yes. Yes, and also if you are watching us over on the YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash shapeless gaming, or just search shapeless media, that's going to be the best way to find us. Uh, you can check out all of our back catalog, and also in the comments on this very podcast on there, you can go ahead and leave your suggestions. If you don't want to tweet it to us, you can leave it, drop it in the comments and leave your sword watch articles, leave your health hacks, leave your... What else do we do? Liquor store reviews? Any of those things that you want to help contribute to the show, go ahead and uh, drop those in there. And hey, while you're there, why don't you like and subscribe? And you should also leave ratings on different podcast outlets such as Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes, YouTube. Rates, reviews, they really help us out. Now, what would really help me out, because... I have a a hot date with a stupid woman. I mean, do I need to specify all women are stupid? And I'm going to give you the secret of how to bag them once we do the pod Dex last laugh. Oh, fuck. I got to go get the deck. Hold on. (laughs) All right. Well, Tori is wildly unprepared. I, I have an idea, Tyler. You know, people are supposed to ask us questions, right? Sorry, I was just like having such a good time with these looking through them in my free time. I forgot to put them back in their in their rightful spot. <sighs> what if people are afraid to ask us questions because they don't want their account linked to their questions? Should we set up an anonymous tip line? I'm going to set up a phone number for that so it can have like some fucking noir detective music and then people can <laughs> leave a voicemail that's like, hey, I heard it through the grapevine that the Kardashian house is infested with tarantulas <laughs> and it's mating season. <laughs> It's that's going to be 1-800 claims. Claims. <laughs> hey, I'm pretty sure that's probably taken by a lawyer. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to update you later on that one. Now, Tyler, Tay, would you rather get a shoulder massage or a foot massage? You sick fuck. Why would anyone want a foot massage? That's fucking fetish shit. If you're a podiatrist, you're a fucking nasty boy. <laughs> <laughs>